you know, the brush fire was an accident, you know, a bunch of kids starting it. Um, had they been involved with the program, you know, maybe we would have been able to prevent something like that from happening. From when we first started a little over a year ago till now, we've seen dramatic improvement from the explorers in, in all aspects, from drills to the events that we do uh, to community involvement. We've grown from you know a handful of members to 26 full and active uh, members that come once a week. Now, a little over a year later, they, they come energetic, they know what they're doing, they know what to talk about, they're fully certified in CPR and first responders training, uh, and they've taken it to the next level of surpassing all my goals and expectations. Because there are kids that don't really do much for first aid and firefighters, and they want to, and now they have experience to finally be able to do that. So every Monday night we meet down at uh, the DPWR in Stoneham. I can set up training with my department, bring equipment over, bring apparatus, or you know whatever it is that they require from us, I'm the person that would okay. handle that. If you want to like save people's lives, you have to work together. And I think that's what this program really shines light on, it's the whole group, because if everyone does their part perfectly, that person could live. I want to help you pull it off. Yeah, one on each leg. Today we're at the Stoneham Town Hall and we're going to talk about how to detect the suspicious package. So that's what we'll be teaching tonight for the explorers. So right now we're going to hide the package and then they'll be tasked with going through different rooms and trying to define it, identify it, and then relay it to the proper channels up to the command. Found the package. Everyone get out of the room. I think that the community has responded positively to the Explorer program. We're involved in a lot of different community events, so like Town Day, uh, the Memorial Day Parade. They were also well received and uh, complimented on their demeanor and appearance. I think uh, the fact that we were able to receive those brand new jackets from uh, an organization that's located in California shows how big of an impact we, we've had in this small little town. A family started it when their son, who was also an explorer, passed away in a fire, um, unfortunately. Um, and as a result, they started an organization, you know, giving grants and supplies and donations um, to needing explorer programs. It teaches me what I need to know for when I'm on the job, because you never know what you're going to need to know. If we all do the same job together and we all put our minds together, we can do great things together. Uh, you need to be quick. You can't be slow rescuing somebody. And they, you know, it's a life or death situation. I've made a lot of friends. Um, I wouldn't consider them friends, more like family. This post is like a family to me. And like the drills, you're working hard, you're sweating, and you're, you're growing mentally in the classroom type environment. Um, so if you're interested in helping others, um, learning about the fire service, or even you know other services like uh, the police or EMS, 
I think it's definitely an opportunity to still be involved with the fire service at some level and get the enjoyment part out of it without having to be subjected to the stresses that you would get in actually being on a regular fire department. If you're lucky, you'll fall through one floor. If you're not lucky, you'll fall to the basement. That's two stories, okay? So you want to make sure that whatever you're doing, that the ground is sturdy.